Hi, this is Mojo of Mojo Mouthpiece Work. I'm, this is a one-man show of how we're going to modify a Gardala laser-trimmed Michael Brecker II mouthpiece into a chamber for a Michael Brecker I. This is a uh, flex shaft of my rotary tool. It's uh, I have this old uh, Weller, it's like a Dremel, something that uh, was passed down in the family and hasn't fallen apart yet, so I'm still using it. I've got it controlled by a foot switch and I have a variable speed uh, control over it. Uh, the burr I'm using in here has a round uh, radius, it's about a quarter inch diameter, has a radius on the end and it's flat otherwise. So that's what I start with to rough out this chamber. As you can see, I have the uh, sides protected with electrical tape because every now and then the rotation wants to jump out and usually a, a, nick it up right around here. So um, my target line is drawn right here. It's about five-eighths of an inch from the tip. See, I have the mouthpiece mounted in a, uh, a collet uh, expandable shaft here. That's not essential, it's just a little easier to hold on to. A friend of mine made that for me, so I use it.
Okay, with this tool you can't get into the corners real well, so after you rough it out as far as you can go, I like to uh, switch to uh, another shape. Now this shaft is getting pretty hot. I've actually used these shafts so hot that they, uh, they start falling apart on me, but uh, usually they burn your hands before they <laughs> fall apart. So I'm switching to this um, it's a 1 8 inch diameter tapered down to a point. It's not a straight taper, it actually has a kind of a little curve to it, parabolic shape or so. But um, I find that I can detail out the corners real sharp on the baffle with this. some technique involved that you got to poke it in straight and on a diagonal otherwise it just creates a groove straight down so side starting to look good. Try to rough out any bumps in there. Uh, there's going to be a hand filing phase to this, so you just want to get it as close as you can with the power tools without, without getting too crazy. Baffle's pretty much roughed out. Next, I switch to another tool that I prefer for um, cheeking out the uh, side walls. Now that the baffle's lower, um, that needs to be extended for the rest of the chamber. I like um, this, uh, it's kind of a, I guess, pear shape they may call that. It's uh, not quite, it's round, but has a, a slight radius on the back corner as well as across the top. Those three burrs are what I use for just about everything. I have a whole rack here of uh, crazy tools, but um, the, uh, these are the three that I use the most good general purpose tools.
what that side is starting to look like. Go for the other side. Take this collet off. Oop, wrong tool. This allows me, with this thin flex shaft, to get in from from the end. I can do a little bit of shaking from the inside. useful to have a vacuum nearby. Okay, so you can see that better. I'm not going to take the uh, tape off because i got to do some hand filing now, which is going to take a while.